tell you, one of the things that happened with COVID was suddenly parents were more fully exposed to what was going on in schools because it was in their faces, right? So this is sort of a shock that, wait a minute, you're teaching that? Who knew? Uh, but it was not what they wanted. So now they've risen up and I feel very strongly that this is not a severe issue as it's made out to be. So much of it is about the media going for clicks. And then I'm talking the big envelope of media. Growing up here as somebody who, who I knew I was gay was really hard and to find things, people, things, places that I, I could see myself in as the kind of adult I wanted to be, not what I saw on TV, which meant I was gonna get killed, um, was really critical. And, and I found that at the public library, not the school library, by the way. And so I get a little nervous sometimes when I think about, and it's completely a parent's right, please don't misunderstand me, but I, I get nervous when I think about kids who may have a curiosity outside of the world being denied um, I'm not sure that's a good thing for our society to involve me in, um, but I don't have an answer for that. Just come back to it. I want it to be a parent's right to choose. I don't want to take away that right of a parent to choose. I think that whatever the parent's choice is, is okay with me. Um, if, if you decide with, with uh, uh, education on sexuality, if, if parents decide that's not for their child, I'll respect that opinion. I just want them to have the chance uh, to make that choice and, and worry about political agendas that in some cases public schools are being undermined purposefully um, and that I worry sometimes if some of the issues that come up are not there more to undermine, uh, undermine the, the public school system than it is to protect children. You and to, to further erode that, that, that trust. That's just a personal uh, observation.